Hello, this is my second wire mod tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to make a vector thruster controlled seeker bot. You've probably seen one of these before, but the one I'm going to be making will also compensate for your up and down movement on the z axis. So, start with one of these Phoenix 1x1 plates and put a hover ball on each corner. Um, movement speed 1, air resistance 1, and strength about 3. And put a hover ball on each corner. Um, Alright, so we're going to have to put a target finder um, to get the location of you or your enemy. So um, check off whatever you want to target here. Um, maximum range, set it really high. Just because it's, yeah. Um, Alright, and we need a beacon sensor with output distance, output world position, GPS cords, and output direction vector checked. And I'm going to put it on the ground so I can weld it on. Alright, you have to make sure this is good. And. Whoops. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the beacon sensor tool and right click to link the two. Um, right now it's sensing me, so you can see all these um, values here for the beacon sensor. Um, I'm going to start by placing the vector thruster right in the middle. Um, force multiplier, uh, it says at the highest, um, and XYZ world, that's what we're using here. Pleasure in the middle takes two clicks. Um, we need two <laughs> giving us the opposite value that we need. So put two negates for the X and the Y. And we can wire this up. So, X, we'll go to this one, Y, just here, negate, output, direction X, and the Y negate, output, direction Y. And then we just have to hook up this multiplier to something. So, I'm going to use a toggle button. So that takes care of that. And if you turn it on, you can't really tell with the bubbles, but well, you'll see when we're done. And the Z is not hooked up to anything. So, actually I'm just going to change the effects to fire so you can see this. See, it's always pointing towards me. And that's what we want.
Okay, turn that off. And the hover balls are really simple. Um, I just wire set Z target. Put world Z. Make sure you're getting world Z for each one. World Z. Um, Alright, it's hitting the floor because technically my Z position is where my feet are. So we have to create an add chip. Um, 45 is the value I chose. That works pretty good because you can just crouch under it um, for the height. So add and wired add B goes to here. A goes to world Z and then rewire all the Z targets to the add value. And now it hovers pretty much in the middle. You can jump and see. And if you turn it on, oops, it will always go towards you. It's a little slow.